If those um, attending virtually who aren't members, just turn off your video. Okay, everyone's in. Somebody blamed it on my chair. Uh, not me. No. We all say with a smile. <laughs> April Fools. Okay, we have reached 3.30, so I'm going to welcome everybody to the April 3rd Regional Board meeting. I want to recognize we're holding the meeting on the territory of the Tlahomin people. We have the agenda in front of us. I don't believe there are any changes or updates to it. No? Okay, we'll get a motion to approve the agenda. Director McClure, the board. Um, there's no discussion. We'll take the vote. All in favor? Any opposed, not opposed, motion carries. Minutes of the regular board meeting held March 28th. Are there any errors or omissions? Seeing no hands, gonna get a motion to adopt. Director McCormick, Director Elliott, thank you. Uh, all in favor? I have something to say. Oh. So on my version of the agenda, there's no, it says the minutes, but there's no link. I don't know. If Oh, so it's forthcoming. Uh, yes, so that so is. I don't know if we can adopt something we can't see. You cannot adopt that. Okay. <laughs> we were hoping. So, point of order. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, because we had the meeting on Thursday and we had to publish the agenda. We were hoping we would get them attached, but impossible. Okay, we'll do it at the next meeting then. All right, forget that, folks. Uh, no delegate, thanks for putting it out. No delegations or inquiries, no one finished. We have one piece of correspondence. Um, and I don't know if anybody has any business arising from said correspondence. If not, let's move on to the consent agenda. Does anybody have anything they would like to remove from the consent agenda? I actually have one item. Item 8.2. Item which? 8.2. So that would be 8 or 9.1. So I have another look at that. I have a different numbering on. It would have been 10.2 on yours. Okay. We're all on the same page here? Yeah. So then the we have two items remaining on the consent agenda. If nobody else is pulling anything, can I get somebody to move the remainder? Director Elliott, Director Southcott, thank you. Uh, all in favor? Any opposed? None opposed. Motion carried. So uh, item 8.2. I would like to move the original motion. And uh, if I get a second, I'll speak to it. Director Southcott, thank you very much. So the original motion, let me just read it off since we don't have it in front of us, that the committee recommends to the board that the board approve the new lease format and adopt option two in the financial impact section of the Texada Island, parentheses, Gillies Bay, airport hangar lease update report dated March 5th, 2024, to raise the lease rate to nine cents per square foot. Now, the motion that we had in the consent agenda says to refer the agreement back to the Texada Island Airport Commission. And I had another look at this one, and there was down in the public and or stakeholder engagement, it says, Information on the lease, new lease has been discussed at past meetings with the, tech, the TAC and considerable input was provided over the last three years. Staff continued to work with the TAC committee and legal counsel to establish final wording of the lease. And um, also says in the conclusion, developing this new hangar lease was this culmination of long standing efforts by staff and TAC to update the language of the document and further clarify responsibilities of the parties. Adopting this new lease will provide consistency for the QRD and blah, blah, blah. So the motion that was in the consent agenda says to kick it back to TAC, but it sounds like TAC has had a lot of input already at this point. And if they've already been consulted numerous times about the uh, lease, I just see it as more time being spent by staff to go back and redo everything that's already been done again. So. Based on that, we have the three options that were presented to us by staff, and um, they recommended option number two, which also makes the most sense to me. It's an $82 increase over the course of a year, which is not huge. And that $82 um, over the past 10 years, I should it's not over the course of a year, it's over the past 10 years, 
that doesn't even keep up with CPI. So I think that's it's pretty close, but it's slightly under the CPI increases over the past 10 years, at, which seems pretty reasonable to me. I wouldn't want the public to think that we're unfairly, uh, say, subsidizing those who have lease space up at the Texada airport. So that's the reason why I would put the motion forward and suggest we, and I would vote in favor of it. Any other discussion points? Director McCormick. Thank you, Chair. Um, I can't support the motion that you put forward for the following reasons. Um, yes, it was discussed by the Texada Airport Advisory Committee, which selected option one as their favored um, option. The report that we received varies from that. At the last meeting, they did not have an opportunity to review the full lease document. And so they asked for that opportunity to review that document prior to it being voted on by the board. The meeting coming up on the 19th of April um, is the opportunity to do that. If we go ahead and support the recommendation on the table, then we would be disregarding one, the option that the advisory committee has recommended. Two, uh, we would ignore their request to have a final review of the full document. And three, um, doesn't clarify the issue of liability insurance, which the committee re uh, requested a minimum of two million, but there are two figures mentioned in the report put forward by staff. Um, one was two million, one was five million, and there's no clarity as to which uh, which number is um, is the one. So for those three reasons, that's why I'm recommending, or I put forward the recommendation that it go to the Airport Advisory Committee for a final review. This has been in the works for several years. It would delay it only by one month, and it's not critical. There's no urgent reason that it has to be approved this month as opposed to next month. And so for all of those reasons, we have advisory committees for the purpose of them giving us advice. And if we consider a recommendation that A does not follow their advice and does not give them the opportunity to review the final document to provide final advice, then I don't think we're using our advisory committees for the reason for which they're intended. So for all of those reasons, um, Chair, I support sending it back to the advisory committee um, for their final consideration um, for this to come forward at this month's CAL at the end of the month. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Any other comments? Director Gisborne? Yeah. Um, I read the report where staff continue to work with the TAAC committee and legal counsel to have the final wording of the lease. The Airport Advisory Committee has been very much involved throughout this process and you know, I hate to use a metaphor, but I think it's apt. It's kind of like the regional district and the advisory committee have been working collectively to kind of land this plane. And now that it's approaching the runway, you know, for us to now just kind of take over and say, okay, this is where it's going to end up. I can see where that might not necessarily be like in line with, you know, collaborating with this committee and delaying it by a month. I don't think that is going to cause any kind of major issue from our staff. I haven't heard any issue of like why it could be done a month earlier. So, you know, even if in the end we go with option two and that's what we end up doing and maybe the advisory committee thinks otherwise, I think just out of respect for the committee that we should kick this over to them. They're going to be meeting in a couple of weeks. And that way, you know, we can collectively land this plane together. Okay. Thank you very much for your comments. Uh, seeing no other hand, oh, sorry, Chair, or uh, CAO. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, CAO, I mean yeah, Chair. You're very well. <laughs> um, just one thing for consideration for both the board as well as the TAC committee. And that is, is if this board considers not doing anything that is CPI related, or if the TAC committee mm -hmm does not want to consider for their benefit over there not doing anything that's CPI related, then I think the board does run the risk of any other contractual agreements that it has with any entities uh, coming back and approaching you and saying, if you're not going to go CPI for the, them, why do you go CPI with us? 
So those are considerations that the board, I think, needs to be understood so that they're treating everybody fairly and equally. And I think it's uh, prudent upon the TAC committee to also consider that because it's not always what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay, I've got two different follow-ups. Director McCormick. Thank you. Um, just to say that this um, recommendation to have it reviewed or final time by the advisory committee does not preclude the answer. I think that's a really good point that CAO has made and one to impress the advisory committee on because I don't know that they have considered that, but I think it would be good for them to have that opportunity and to come back. Perhaps they will change their recommendation to option two. I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, we can still go with option two in any case. However, giving them the final opportunity to weigh in um, really causes no harm. Uh, supports the dialogue and the openness that we pride ourselves in, and we, you know, elevate to uh, significant significance in our um, strategic plan. So, um, yeah, it doesn't say that CPI factors would not be considered, only that they be reviewed by the advisory committee prior to this board. Okay, thank you very much. And Director Gisborne? Yeah, my, my question was going to be to Director McCormick about the uh, committee, whether... Through the chair? Oh, through the chair, whether uh, you'd be bringing the CPI uh, increase concern over to that committee. And I'm, I'm seeing a nod, so I'm very happy. All right, well, seeing no other uh, hands, I'm going to call the question. Now, this is the original, one in the original package, not the one that is in the consent agenda. So, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, so now we have six opposed. That's great. Would somebody else like to make a motion in regards to this? Thank you. Thank you. I'll move the recommendation. It's in today's agenda. Okay. Second. So seconded by Director Gisborne. We've been around this, but if there's anything else for some somebody new wants to add or something new to be added, but if not, I'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed? None opposed. Motion carries. Okay. That's it for the main agenda so we are going to go in camera if somebody question period. Yeah. Question period. oh i'm sorry <laughs> sorry 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 8.3 uh we have the recommendation in front of us pardon no we have 8.3 well that was part of the consent agenda yep we've already got it we're there we're at question period all right should we just go back to the beginning and start all over again <laughs> No, question period. <laughs> All right. Mr. Glansky, do you have any questions? Uh, you were quite brief and succinct today, uh, Chair, so no, I don't have any questions. Thanks for the opportunity. No problem. All right, now we're up to the in-camera session. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, no, sorry. Had it. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, um, I, I would just suggest that we add uh, K uh, to this motion and that I will display that section on the... I will display that right now. And I will read it out. Um, I move that the board move in camera and the meeting be closed to the public on the grounds that the subject matter be considered relates to matters covered by the community charter under section 91C, labor relations or other employee relations. Uh, K, negotiations and related discussions respecting the proposed provision of a municipal service that are at their preliminary stages in that and the view of the council could reasonably be expected to harm the interests of the municipality or regional district if they were held in public. Uh, L, discussions with regional district officers and employees respecting regional district objectives, measures, and progress reports for the purposes of preparing an annual report under Section 98, and the consideration of whether a board meeting should be closed under provision of this subsection or subsection 2. Okay, thank you. Do we have a seconder? Mr. Elliott, uh, any discussion? None. All in favor? None opposed? Motion carries. We're going in camera. Are you good? Great, thank you. <laughs> I wonder tell if that's an L or an I and then realize that.
Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's in. Ow. <laughs> yeah, we're in open session. Okay, there is no rise report from the in-camera session, so the meeting is adjourned. Thanks very much, everybody, for coming. Go out and enjoy the sunshine. Mm -hmm. See you, Jason. See you, Andrew. Yeah.